This video is the new cycle route from Oban to Fort William. It's the second section of the Caledonia Way, including advice on tackling the tricky bit around Corran Ferry. This is the second Caledonia Way video. The first took us from Campbelltown to Oban, and the next will take us from Fort William to Inverness. And as I mentioned in the first video, there are two ways out of Oban. The official Route 78 out of Oban goes back to the main Caledonia Way up a steep uphill. I came in this way, but if you don't mind a very short road section, I prefer an alternative, easier departure. The route I suggest follows the coast out of town, then picks up a local cycleway. I ride this often, and I shot it over a few rides. This first bit was in cooler weather, which explains the jacket. There's a lovely beach at Ganavan, there's a park run here on Saturdays, and then we turn onto the Sustrans alternative route. A lot of locals use this for cycling and dog walking, so you'll probably have company, as it leads to and through a housing estate just outside the town. The signs here get moved about, but you can hear the road you're heading for. This is the only downside of this way out of Oban, but at least it's over quickly. That was one and a half miles of quite busy road riding, but I still think it's a better way out of Oban, and the two routes come together here at the Connell Bridge over the spectacular Falls of Laura. On the right tide, this is a playground for skilled kayakers, and I always marvel at the sheer power of the water that pours out of Loch Etiv. Oban Airport is suitably small. It's easier to reach Oban by train. We're now on cycleway all the way to the Corran Ferry. Like so many of Sustrans routes, much of this is along old railway lines, and there's evidence of this everywhere. Yet a lot has had to be purpose-built, switching sides of the main road as needed, sometimes skirting very close, at other better times breaking away completely. I've ridden this over the years and seen these protected sections grow. It used to be the case this was a road ride with bits of cycleway. Now it's the other way around. It's mainly cycleway and a good one at that. The coast is always close and offers great views, including Castle Stalker, but the best lies just ahead. Well, as you can clearly see, my jacket has changed, and that's because we've sprung forward in time, and we are now on the new for 2020 section of the Caledonia Way, Sustrans Route 78. So new that in summer 2020, the finishing touches were still being added. In an inspired idea, the route now goes into a nature reserve run by a business called Highland Titles. The surface is superb. The climbs have been graded gently to make the reserve accessible to wheelchairs, and there are all sorts of things here. Some you can get close to, others you have to keep well away. This is Laird's Wood, and it's owned by Highland Titles. And the reason those names go together is because you can buy a square foot of this nature reserve. Now you might think, why would anybody want to buy a square foot of Scotland for a vanity title? But it's much more than that because it contributes to the upkeep of this beautiful nature reserve. And in that sense, it's a pretty good idea. I think this could very well be one of the nicest sections of cycleway I have ever been on. Cutting through a nature reserve is just such a fantastic idea, and it's so, it's so beautiful here. It's such a change to the old route, which wasn't long, it was only two miles, but it was on quite a busy road. You couldn't avoid it for a while. And if you had a log lorry up behind you, well, I could get a slightly intimidating. This, however, this is fantastic. Back on the original Caledonia Way, cutting from the coast to inland, glancing at a watch, working out how to deal with a section that lies just ahead. We're now at the busy A82, and it's easy to miss, but there's an important sign over here, because you're gonna have to make a decision soon which way you go, 
and here you will find the ferry timetables that are all important to that decision. There are four ways to Fort William. The fastest is up the main A82 and depending on ferry times you may have no choice but it is very, very busy. There's a segregated cycleway as far as the Corran Ferry but after that you're on a busy winding road. That's how windy it gets when one of those lorries passes. There is a back way, but some of it involves pushing and it can be boggy. Although it's a great ride, it might not be a nice end to a day's touring. By far the nicest way involves two ferries. The first is the Corran Ferry, which takes you onto quiet single track roads. This is how it looks on the map. The Corran Ferry is here, the single track runs up the opposite side of Loch Linney to the main A82, and at the top is a small passenger only Camas Nagol ferry. This is a lovely ride, I've done it in other videos, and this is where Sustrans 78 Caledonia Way officially goes. But there's a snag. The small ferry does not run on Sundays, and only four sailings are listed on other days. However, on those days it will make a crossing for two or more passengers. Its Facebook page seems to be updated more regularly than its website. If you cross using the Corran Ferry and miss the small Camas Nogol Ferry, you can still cycle around Loch Eel, adding 22 miles to the journey. Routes and advice can be found on the resources page of our website. Just before we finish, if you found this helpful and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make adventure cycling videos and I also have a series of tips and advice for new and returning cyclists, covering stuff many cyclists take for granted. Here in Fort William there are two great bike shops and if you are continuing north you have a fantastic ride ahead of you. Sustrans Route 78, the Caledonia Way, now becomes the Great Glen Way and I've done a video of that which you can find here. Uh, the round button is to subscribe to my channel and it would be fantastic if you would do that. And also take a look around, you might find something that you like. Until next time, bye.